Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. This video is about Jupiter moving into Scorpio on the 10th of October 2017 and staying in that sign of Scorpio until the 8th of November 2018. Now Jupiter is the lucky planet and looking at what sign it's in is really useful for us in determining how the planet of good luck, success and good fortune bestows this lucky energy onto us. So the exact dates are the 10th of October this year so in a month and a half really um, and then it stays in Scorpio for 13 months so we need to kind of adapt and change with Jupiter because we all want success we all want good fortune good luck in our lives and it's by aligning ourselves now with Jupiter and the sign it's in that we're going to be able to make the most of this okay so let's start with the very basics Jupiter is moving from an air sign into a water sign so Scorpio is a water sign. So now Jupiter is in the water element. It's come out of air where it's quick. It's about ideas, communication, and exchanging information. Your social network probably expanded over the last 12 months, but it may have felt superficial or not like you've made lifelong friends and like these really deep emotional connections. It may have felt more kind of um, transient and laissez-faire. Now also Scorpio is a fixed sign. Uh, there are different modes for each of the signs in astrology. You've got cardinal, mutable and fixed. And the fixed signs are the ones which are most solid within themselves. So Scorpio is on the axis with Taurus and this is the axis of control. Scorpio is very good at controlling its own feelings, at being emotionally intelligent, but also influencing other people and being the emotional rock. For others you know if in a family for instance things go wrong the siblings are squabbling if there's a Scorpio parent a mother or a father they often have a lot of control over what goes on emotionally and they're often able to exercise a lot of influence when it comes to emotional matters now Scorpio is also ruled by Pluto Pluto is the planet of death, rebirth, transformation. It's associated with the phoenix rising from the ashes. So this is, you know, this is big themes. Libra, Jupiter being in Libra for the last year, the sign that, the planet that rules Libra is Venus. And Venus is the planet of love and beauty. It's a personal planet. It's very loving and, and um, cheerful and romantic. But Pluto is an outer planet and it's, it's life and death, okay? So we're looking at much bigger, much more universal philosophical themes here. So Pluto and Scorpio are associated with healing, imagination and intuition, intensity and deeply genuine connection. So deeply genuine relationships. So for all of us, what we'll notice is that the people who come into our lives in this period from October the 10th, 2017, to the 8th of November 2018, there's going to be a much greater emotional response to these relationships. Now, Scorpio also has the, the ability to identify hidden issues and to heal them. Scorpios are really, really emotionally intelligent and they can get to the truth of the matter. Now, Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system and it's about growth and expansion. Scorpio is energetic mysterious and powerful. So with Jupiter getting bigger and bigger and bigger, think of it as like a magnifying glass. And now this magnifying glass is being used in a Scorpio way, which is about going inward, going deeper inward, so that the personal focus on the self and the emotional side of things will be highlighted. So you can learn huge things about yourself with this Jupiter in Scorpio. You'll also need to look at what house Jupiter is transiting when it comes to your specific chart. If you want to find that out, get in touch with me for a personal reading. It's gregoryscott.com. Just click on the readings tab and we can look at that for you. Um, and I also mention it in the free monthly horoscopes that I do here on YouTube. Now, in terms of the sign, signs who are going to benefit from the shift of Jupiter and the signs that aren't going to benefit as much, I want to read you a list of this. So obviously Scorpios are going to be hugely impacted by this in a positive way because the lucky planet moves into your sign. So the way you are, the way you behave now has the most lucky and fortuitous outcome. So that's positive for you. Other signs that are going to benefit from this are Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Libra, Pisces and Sagittarius. 
Capricorn and Aquarius, they can go either way on this, it depends. Capricorn can sometimes get a little bit restless and irritated with the emotional side of things, especially when it just wants to be practical and get on with things. And Aquarius can also get a little bit frustrated with people who just, um, according to Aquarians, are navel-gazing and constantly looking at their inner world. Aquarians would much rather make the world a better place, so they don't have the time for this kind of indulgence. But even for you Aquarians, it's a nice time to look within and to ask yourself what the, what the things that are important to you really are. Now the signs that are really going to not like this as much are Aries, Gemini and Leo because you're very much about moving ahead, moving forward, communicating, expressing yourself. You're not going to like this in a sense because it feels slow. It feels much more like an inward journey rather than an outward journey. It feels more abstract than concrete. You know, it feels like I'm thinking a lot rather than doing a lot. And Aries, Gemini and Leo don't particularly like this. But you three, you guys, look at this in terms of the good luck of Jupiter is now going into Scorpio. This is an opportunity to slow down for once in your life, to really look within, to ask yourself, who am I? What am I doing? What's my point here? And then to actually learn about yourself. And then once you have that information, when Jupiter moves into Sagittarius, which is going to help you guys immensely, Aries, Gemini and Leo, because that's fire. Gemini is air that works with fire very well. Then it's about moving forward again. So you guys, you have to put on the brakes a little bit, particularly, and do some introspection and reflective work. Now, it's going to be a year from the 10th of October 2017 to the 8th of November 2018 that is, it's going to be a year of hidden secrets being uncovered, okay? So secret recordings are going to come out, secret stories, scandals are going to break, um, things that people have tried to keep private are going to be unearthed and are going to be brought out into the open. That's what Scorpio is all about, bringing the hidden out. And also, because Pluto is involved and Scorpio is involved, violence and death often play a larger role. Uh, scheming and manipulation are also heightened. and these are looking at this this is the negative side of pluto and scorpio because it's so healing and it's not afraid to look at death and and violence because it understands that it is a part of the world we live in but scorpio looks at healing that kind of energy okay that's what scorpios innately do they can look at the tough things in life face them without fear and work through them now for the rest of us who are going to experience jupiter in in Scorpio, some of us aren't going to love that so much. Personally, as a Virgo, introspection is my bread and butter, so I really don't mind this at all. But if you're an Aries, you might be a little bit frustrated with what's going on. So you might get irritable and restless. The thing, the example that came to mind when I was writing up this report was Nancy Kerrigan and Tonya Harding. Because that scandal, uh, when one of them sabotaged the other and, and was scheming and manipulating, that happened during a, a Jupiter in Scorpio. So Scorpio, as well as in, increasing risky and at times dangerous behavior, also has a strongly developed sense of justice and that's the saving grace of Scorpio that it can look at these dark things but it doesn't it's not an evildoer it's not someone who lives in the dark and does dark deeds it's someone who can see both sides of life and looks at healing those so Scorpios are reliable people any of you who have Scorpios in your life you know how solid and reliable they are especially in terms of their emotional consistency uh, you can always go to one of these clever outlaws, as I've labeled them, because they're always kind of outside of society a little bit. They see what's going on, they don't stick to all the rules, and they know what works for them personally. And that's common sense rules for Scorpios and personal experience rules Scorpios. And that's why they're so good to go to for good advice. So if you want to... Um, if you need someone who understands people's motivations or intentions or how to influence these, go to a Scorpio, but also because Jupiter is in Scorpio this year, we're all going to be much better at, at watching other people, understanding what they're about, what's, what's not being said, you know, what's deliberately being left out, reading between the lines. We're all going to get much better at that. Now, Scorpios are also famous for their magnetism. So, very basically, and 
I really feel this is true, there'll be an increase in sexual activity because Scorpio rules the root chakra, which is the base of the spine, and it rules the sexual organs, okay? So it's all about sexuality, it's all about connecting with other people on that intimate physical level, and um, that's something to enjoy, that's something to absolutely have fun with. The only thing to watch out for is because of the Taurus-Scorpio axis, Scorpio can become controlling and um, the, these intense attachments that include other people will include positive feelings as well as negative feelings. So it's love and attraction and jealousy, everything is highlighted. So just be aware of the fact that you're going to feel things much more deeply. So if you're very vulnerable and sensitive to anxiety or conflict or anger or love, then take care of yourself and be aware that we're entering a much more emotional time now. Now, people with Jupiter in Scorpio in their birth chart are often like detectives. Um, they like detective stories. They like um, mysteries, suspense, and even horror films because they're able to look at the darker side of life and enjoy the suspense and thrill without being scared by it. So anything that's creepy or mysterious is also now going to be very attractive over the next year. We're going to notice much more in the public being spoken about the occult and the taboo and the hidden is going to come to the surface and anything that has those qualities of maybe being a little bit risque or dangerous is really going to want to come out into the public and people are going to be fascinated by that. Celebrities who were born with the Jupiter in Scorpio include Alfred Hitchcock, you know, he directed Psycho and the Birds, Master of Suspense, Stephen King, amazing writer, Ellen DeGeneres, surprisingly, Elton John and Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg, and he was able to imagine these whole other worlds, you know, Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones, these are epic adventures and you need the imagination of someone like a Scorpio to be able to dive that deeply to discover this whole other fantasy land that you can then realize and make into something real. Scorpios are really amazing at what they're able to kind of just produce from within themselves. So if you are a Scorpio you're obviously going to benefit the most from this because this is your Jupiter return. So if you were born when Jupiter was in Scorpio, you'll experience this energy of Jupiter is greatly magnified as it only occurs in your sign once every 12 years. So Jupiter stays in each sign for about a year. You can see in this case it's 13 months. So it takes it 12 years to go around the whole zodiac. So every 12 years you're going to have a Jupiter return where Jupiter returns to your sign. So if you were uh, born when Jupiter was in Sagittarius, then every 12 years Jupiter will be in Sagittarius again. And those are especially lucky years for you. So you Scorpios out there, make sure you take notes of when this is happening because for you, this is going to make your natural personality create opportunities and good luck and doors will open for you just by being yourself. So it is a once in every 12 years opportunity that don't miss it. It's important. It's good. So this period is also a great time to use your intuition to help you to progress in life. Whether you're planning on improving your career or your love life or your social life or to focus on specific goals, meditate and pray on these and let your intuition guide you into manifesting your desires. Scorpio is a water sign so there's a very fine line between the imagination and the intuition and it's by aligning yourself with these energies of imagining things either writing them down or just daydreaming and the intuition getting real messages and heightening that intuition and working with it and developing it by doing something like meditation or yoga strengthening that intuitive muscle if you're willing to use it is really really going to benefit you because Jupiter is the lucky planet as I've said many times now and Scorpio rules the intuition. So the combination of Jupiter and Scorpio if you use anything that's associated with Scorpio then you're gonna create luckier and more positive situations for yourself. So anything to do with your imagination, your intuition, do it during this period. It's going to really really support you. If you've never been able to listen to your own inner guidance or your own inner voice, 
by developing that, this is the best time to actually start hearing your guides, to start hearing your angels for the first time if you never have. If you're one of the people who feels blocked and who feels like, oh, I can't hear my messages because something's not quite right. Jupiter in Scorpio gives you the greatest potential to really connect with these higher realms by going inwards. The higher realms aren't out there. They are and they aren't. They're out there, but they're also in here because we're all sparks of the divine. So everything that's out there is also within us. As above, so below. So this is a great time to go inwards and outwards. So manifest your desires. Manifestation is just about um, looking at what you would like in life. And that's why people make things like vision boards. Uh, so they have those things in their minds and their consciousness. As a result of looking at those things or visualizing them or um, deliberately manifesting them is that guidance comes in once you visualize these things and if you act on that guidance you can implement the things that you want in life and that's how to manifest you don't just sit there and think I'm gonna get a million pounds and a check goes through the door as they say in the secret they miss out two very important steps the first step is to imagine a check coming through the door but the second step is to listen to the guidance you're getting how to get that check and then the third step is to actually take action and to implement that guidance. And then you'll get your check. But you can't just sit on your sofa and wait for the check to arrive. <laughs> so your feelings and your desires are going to become much more important to you. So people who struggle with their feelings or who try and live a stoic life where they're not governed by every feeling that they have, you are going to have time to practice and exercise this because your feelings are going to become more important. We're all unfortunately becoming more focused on our inner selves and other people's secrets. So it's not about things keep keeping things light and breezy and just brushing over negative stuff. It's the negative stuff that's going to be highlighted and say, hello, scandal, or you can't do this. These things, there's a desire to, you know, on YouTube, sometimes you see videos of people being exposed, exposed for who they truly are. You know, that kind of thing is very Scorpio, the desire to reveal the truth about someone. You may also find that there's a desire to be more secretive about certain behaviors and attitudes. So I heard in a television series very recently a wonderful line, hypocrisy is the tribute that vice must pay to virtue. It's a bit of a heady one, but basically we all want to appear as virtuous and as good, don't we? So. If we behave in ways that are not virtuous and good, one way of bridging that gap is to be a hypocrite and to lie and to say, I am wonderful, I'm a philanthropist, I help children, but, you know, I'm not telling you about the, um, I don't know, you know, crooked deals that I'm doing on the side. That's hypocrisy. So watch out for that because you will have a desire to be secretive about what it is you're doing and to keep your behaviors that you know aren't right to yourself and then to on the outside appear squeaky clean and don't do that in the recovery programs they say you're only as sick as your secrets so don't keep secrets try not to because they always catch up with you and having skeletons in the closet isn't fun because you're always waiting for someone to open that door and it's like oh, okay it's all come out now <laughs> so ultimately Scorpio gives you the ability to transform negative energy into positive energy. That's what Scorpio does because as its ruler Pluto can be likened to the phoenix rising from the ashes, therefore this whole process that we're going through, this Scorpio energy, is about intensity and feeling things fall apart and that being very intense but then healing that and looking at how to rebuild and how to build something that's more compatible emotionally with you and how to really put yourself into something that you enjoy and that you care about so scorpio feels things deeply and it pulls people towards itself it's magnetic and it's able to identify suitable partners and unsuitable ones very quickly and mem remember Scorpio's emotional intelligence so Scorpio understands what makes people tick so for all of us 
regardless of what sign you're in, with Jupiter moving into Scorpio, we're all going to become more emotionally intelligent. We're all going to have a better sense of other people, whether they're good for us or not. And we're just going to be naturally more connected to our true inner selves who guide us saying, this is bad, stay away from this. This is good, go for it. So find out what house this Jupiter in Scorpio transits your natal chart and we can do that by we can do that in a personal reading. So what I do is I use astrology and tarot and numerology in my in my readings and I draw up your your birth chart by using your place of birth, date of birth and time of birth. And then I put the transits, i.e. what's going on in the heavens right now around your birth chart and I can see where Jupiter in Scorpio in what house of your chart is going to sit. And this magnetic energy of Scorpio will then occur in a particular area of your life. So let's say you have Jupiter in Scorpio in your first house, transiting your first house. You're going to be the one who makes most progress when it comes to discovering your true inner self because the first house is identity. If Jupiter transits Scorpio in the seventh or the fifth, you're really going to get much deeper and you're going to make huge progress when it comes to your love life, your romantic life, because you have a much deeper understanding of those things and Jupiter is now in that sign, creating opportunity and good luck in that area of your life. So the only things you have to do is allow yourself to feel your feelings, to look at what area of your life is being blessed by this Jupiter in Scorpio because don't get me wrong, this is an absolute blessing. Jupiter is always positive. And the reason I've spoken about Scorpio so much is so that you understand the Scorpio energy so that you can align yourself with it, use it. And I'm sorry I keep doing this, but I've got ants and things biting me. So um, as long as you align yourself with that energy and you can, you feel comfortable using it, then you can create opportunities and good like, luck in your life that's going to transform your life significantly for the better. So Pluto, sorry, Jupiter in Scorpio is far more intense and far more fulfilling than Jupiter in Libra ever was going to be because Jupiter in Libra was about throwing your net, casting your net out and just broadening your life. This is about not quantity, this is about quality and going inwards and going deeper and seeing what works and what doesn't. And you're naturally going to attract people who are like-minded. So remember that manifestation and the energy you give out is really, really important because now is a time of more magnets connecting and interconnecting. So if your inner landscape is super dark and super negative, no one loves me. I've always been in a pattern of abusive relationships. I will always have abusive relationships. Then you will magnetically attract that to yourself. If you believe about yourself, I'm happy, I've got a good heart, and the right person will come to me when the time is right, then that's what's going to be magnetically pulled to you and that's what you manifest. So this Jupiter change is much more important when it comes to things like manifestation because Scorpio operates on that plane anyway and it brings all of that along with it. So Jupiter going into Scorpio, the people who have an imagination and who are able to dream and set goals for themselves, you're the blessed ones because you can see the opportunities and then you can manifest them in your real life. So that's what I get for this change. It's a long time that we're going to be working with this energy now. So I'm really looking forward to it. If you would like a personal reading with me to look at where Jupiter transits over your birth charts and what area of your life it's going to impact, then please get in touch with me via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. And we can also look at other things. We can look at your life purpose, what your vocational aptitudes are. We can look at things like, oh, I'm being eaten now, so I'm glad I'm coming to the end of this because there are ants everywhere. <laughs> um, we can look at what's coming up for you in your love life, in your career, in terms of finance, your health, family, spirituality, in terms of um, when's a good time to start a business, when's a good time to move, where the best place for you to live is. All of those things can be seen through the astrology and astrocartography. So if you're interested in that, then book a reading with me on gregoryscott.com. 
Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd be ever so grateful. And I hope you have a wonderful time here during the Jupiter in Scorpio. Check out some of my other videos. I do a daily tarot reading for every day of the year. I do a weekly horoscope with the chart so you can see it. And I do monthly horoscopes for each sign of the zodiac. So that's sun sign astrology. I do that monthly. So if you're interested in any of those things, check them out. As I said, please subscribe and I hope you have a great time during this Jupiter in Scorpio. I think it's going to be very lucky and very interesting to say the least. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you soon.